Greetings, dear ones. I am Cryon of Magnetic Surface. We sit on the grass in a beautiful place overlooking a lake. Once again, Gaia is quiet. And in these moments, there is much to tell you. Dear one, sometimes the channeling is soft, is quiet, is compassionate, not much information is given, and other times it's different. My partner once asked me what to expect, and I told him to expect nothing, and that's when the information would be the clearest. Today we wish to cover something that is one of the oldest subjects we have, and yet it renews itself when you put it with a subject, and that is the linearity of humans. One of the aspects of this new energy is what we have called compassionate action, the new human being. And we have channeled now for years what that might mean. What is different in the way that you think or feel than before? It's starting to happen with many. And in that happening, often there is an uncomfortableness, sometimes a confusion. Old souls are feeling it first. The definition of old soul, yet again, is a human being who has had many lifetimes on this planet and is comfortable with themselves and the planet. Those who would travel today and sit in front of me on the grass, or those standing in front of me on the grass, are old souls, every single one. And you might ask, even as you listen to this, how do I know, how do I really know I'm an old soul? And the answer is, it's an internal guidance system that says, you're not new here, you've been here, you've done that. And when you look upon things like Gaia and nature, you feel something. Are you aware that a newbie, one who has just arrived on the planet, will walk around with a frustrated look? For every single thing they do, they're measuring the reactions they've never seen before, both in, both in human and in energy. This is one who will not necessarily want to go to the forest because there's nothing to feel. This is one who is often confused most of the time. It's a tough thing to be new on the planet. You are not, none of you. There are some who have been here far longer than others, but an old soul is just one who has had a lot of experience here. And the old soul is the one who is going to feel these changes first. So let's talk about specifically one of the shifts and also a concept for you that I hope my partner can bring forward. Where to start? Psychology. Those who study the psychology of the human brain, the human being, the human heart, all together, those who are trying to figure out how humans think and work, are healers, everyone. And they study the human mind in so many ways, and there's so much to know. For the mind is complex, but to even make it more interesting, the human is not functioning at a hundred percent. And so the mind often gets separated because there are walls between kinds of thoughts Add to that, there is the akash that pushes the envelope of what is real, what is dreamed, who you are. A human being who is not operating fully with a DNA that is giving more than 30% is often struggling with reality. A psychologist will tell you that you have to deal with many things, and it has many names. It's also controversial. 
for there will be many kinds of psychology. There are systems that seem to have identified you, who you are, what you might do, the propensities you might have, what you might even do next. There's the conscious, the subconscious, the superconscious. There's the self, the not-self. And in all of these, there are some kinds of barriers between them. And the barriers are what the psychologists try to examine and then lead the human being through the barriers so that they will have an aha and help themselves. But there is so much more. Now, if you talk to a psychologist or anyone who is scientific, including a biologist, and you say that you, the DNA is responsible for your thinking, they will say it is not. They will acknowledge that the DNA makes all of the genes in the body and the DNA is the blueprint for everything you are. But they will say it is not involved in your current day thinking. Now stop for a moment. This is extremely linear and understandable because this is how everything has operated for eons. You are a product of linearity because that is what you've experienced all your life. There's no admonishment on your linearness, only the understanding of why you have it. For instance, if you're going to build a car, you have a manual for the car. That's the DNA. The car is then built. That's what's happened in the womb. The instruction sets, the manual, it's born with you and you carry it around. But basically, only a small part of DNA has done the work and continues to do the work because it produces human genes. Now, the linearness is this. You drive the car around, but the manual that built it is still in the factory. You have a linear sense of time. The manual is studied, the workers come, the car is built, the manual is put away, and you drive the car. That's very linear. What if I ask you this? What if you had a multidimensional manual for your car? And it was carried with you all of the time, and it was dynamic and interfaced. For instance, let's say there was some super force that actually improved the manual, rewrote certain things within the manual, and it actually reflected within your car as you drove it. So you'd be driving around in your car, and the next day you'd get in, and things would work better. Perhaps the instruments might even be added or subtracted or changed position. So the car improved itself by itself because it was a non-linear system. That is what is happening. It is going to be ages before science even begins to think about acknowledging the fact that your present DNA is changing in a multidimensional way and affecting the way your synapse works in your brain that it starts to change the very psychology of the human being. It starts to improve, with free choice, how you work with each other. I'll tell you something. <clears throat> we have spoken about compassionate action. A human being is invited to start being more compassionate. It starts with yourself. Can you internalize compassion and forgive yourself for anything you believe you've done? Not what God thinks you've done. That's compassionate action. It moves forward. Can you have enough compassion for that which is around you so you see God everywhere and not just in the church? And you'd say, this is, this is an amazing idea. How do I do this? And where is it going to come from? And what do I do next? And I would like to give you a, a, a concept today. Your DNA, old soul, interdimensionally is picking up that power of intent that you are giving it, and it's starting to change on its own. As the cells reproduce in your body, and the DNA molecules involved, that is a changing manual in real time. 
and it starts to change the way you feel about everything. The way you think, your maturity, your, the, the elegance of who you are. Up to this point, a linear approach has you stuck with issues that then have to be resolved. And so you'll go into a linear pattern of how to resolve issues because there's barriers between the subconscious and the conscious. What if I told you that an improved DNA starts to drop the barriers? The conscious person will start to see the subconscious, the not-self. Will start to understand the importance of one thing or another thing, sort it out themselves. As my partner says, put the things in the back seat. They'll still be in irritation, but they're not going to guide your life. What if this was starting to happen on its own? So think of the manual itself as being interactive and starting to change you in real time. This is the thing that will not be seen as valid. It's too esoteric. It's channeling. So let's just go to the next one. Since it's unbelievable anyway, why not push the envelope? We have talked about the three parts of consciousness, not of subconsciousness or the not-self, but that of the brain, the pineal, and the heart. We remind you again that the heart is being discovered not just as a pumping mechanism, but perhaps even with neuron action inside it, that the heart is literally part of the thinking human. You touch your heart and you love someone. You touch your heart because you love spirit. It is involved in your thinking process. Even the indigenous would touch their heart. Those who have studied the heart realize that the magnetics of the heart is ten times what it is or more in the brain. Some say it's even a hundred. They're starting to make discoveries of what the heart can do and its real role besides pumping blood. The pineal is involved. We've even given you the idea of the triad, the three of them working together. Ah, but what if there were layers of the triad? You've heard of the higher self. It is a higher level of yourself. What if there was a high heart? Now, the high heart actually has a name. You can find it. It's in ancient spirituality because those who have come early with even higher DNA functioning better knew of it, named it. It is the compassionate heart, and this is the one that is starting to be active and growing and be more part of you. As you look upon the lake, as you look upon each other, as you look upon that which is natural, you start to understand it more. Now listen, there are so many of you light workers listening and even here that have worked on the planet with those who are suffering in societies that are not as high minded as yours. Almost in survival they are, and so there is much death and there is much sorrow, and you go there. Let me tell you what happens without the higher heart activated. You fall into empathy, and that is not compassion. Empathy will destroy a light worker, and that is because your feelings are out, and they're way out, and you will assume they're suffering, and you will cry daily. Even those who are so involved with the planet and they see what is happening and what humans have done will cry daily because their empathy factor is out of control. The high heart is the compassion factor that helps them to put itself over the empathy and together there is an appropriateness of understanding. What good is a doctor? tries to operate on a person and then gets involved with their disease and can't continue. There must be that which tempers the empathy and makes it appropriate so you can continue with your compassion. The masters who walked this earth saw everything. And they were compassionate to the max, but their empathy was also there. You saw it in the caring that they would have of every single one they met. 
the high heart is beginning to be activated, and that is where compassionate action will be something you don't ask about and say, what is it? How do you define it? You'll just be doing it. You'll make turns in your path to see something or someone because you feel something that is compassionate to them. And the empathy will be there, but it will be measured and it will be controlled and governed. These are the balances that you're starting to come into psychologically that start to really create a balanced human being. One who's fun to be with. Even as I close here, there are those who are unwilling to become anything but linear. I want to give you an example. You're still trying to pass through one level to get to the next. Some of you are going to ask, when will my heart graduate to be a higher heart? Or is there two pieces? Are there more layers? How many layers are there? And how many times do you have to pass through this one to get to this one? Can you be knocked back a few? That is linear. It is almost like somebody gives you a grand piano. And there are as many notes, up to perhaps 88. And you play one note, only one note. You want to get to a higher note, so your finger has to play every single note up to the higher note, one at a time. 35 notes later... Some octaves later, you get to the note you want. Is that the way you play a piano? I want to tell you, all the notes are there, and you've got multiple fingers. You can play the music of the mind. It all happens together. Your DNA, right now, is starting to advance if you choose to feel it in order, on a daily basis, in reproduction of cells, to give you a better thought process. There will be scientists who say, yes, but synapse and neurons are not ones that rejuvenate. Yes, they are. They just do it differently. Not only that, there is more to thinking than the brain. This is all starting with genes that are improving, with all of the things in your body starting on a regular basis to improve themselves. It's all starting to make sense in your actions as a human being in that which you can dismiss, your Akash is clearing up. You don't have to go to a reader if you can figure it out yourselves. The Akash starts to become more beautiful and give you things that you need instead of the things that you're irritated with or that push you into corners. Do you see how an improved DNA on a daily basis, monthly basis, starts to drop the barriers, the issues, the problems, the nightmares, the fear? The invitation is for you to see it as a piano, to play it all at once, to see the many opportunities in your mind in this metaphor. Grow another hand or two and play it even larger. Play a symphony for yourself, all the notes at once if you wish. You'll get the idea. Things are happening together, not one at a time. It's going to change the concepts, the paradigms, even of what is going to be called quantum psychology. The understanding that the human is dynamic, changeable, and the very triggers that you try to get to, the subconscious that you try to, to reveal, the pathways will no longer be linear. It can happen all at once. And the triggers may actually be somewhere else. This is not that new. You're just going to find this in ancient spiritual systems. But today, for now, in this place, as Gaia looks on and smiles, I tell you, this is where the new human is going. You're in a great place to hear this. No distractions, not really. Where Gaia is pumping energy to you right now. You listen to the birds, even to other humans who may not be part of this group, having a wonderful time, enjoying that which is here to be enjoyed. Look upon all of these things as appropriate, beautiful, and compassionate. And so it is.